On the CircuitPython Parsec today, I'd like to show you how you can generate random numbers using floating analog pins on your microcontroller inside of CircuitPython. So here you can see I have a Feather RP2040 microcontroller. This will work with pretty much any board that has analog inputs. Uh, and there are probably other ways to do it with boards that don't, but most of the boards that we have have analog inputs. Uh, and what I'm doing is I am reading the values on these analog inputs, but I have not tied them to ground, which is usually what we do. You usually tie an analog pin to ground and read it or split it ground and voltage if you're using a potentiometer to see where the voltage is lying. But if you leave them floating like this, they essentially act as little antennas for all kinds of voltages flying around in the environment, which are constantly changing. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually reading all four of those, uh, and then I'm adding them up so we get some nice random numbers. Let me uh, set this running, and you can see here it's these four pins, A0, A1, A2, A3. On some boards you got six pins, you could use all of those or, or more depending on the board. Uh, and what you're seeing is each of the four values there I'm printing, and then I'm adding those up. And you could do other kinds of math with these if you wanted, uh, and then get smaller numbers if you run them through modulo to act like a dice throw, that sort of thing. Uh, the way we do this is we import analog I.O., the board for board definition and time, so we're not constantly pinging, we're going to pause a little bit. Uh, and then I'm setting up these four pins as analog inputs, board A0, A1, A2, A3. Uh, and then I'm reading those values into this little uh, list here, grabbing all of those during the main loop. I then add those together and then I'm printing them out. And so that is how you can get random numbers from your microcontroller by reading floating pins. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.